Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Other brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that Saint Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which is strenuously preached, <laughs> may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all, to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Paul, Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church of, at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your bells, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his key. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Barnabas. He is regarded as an apostle by the early Christian communities, but he is not one of the twelve. 
is that one of the 12 apostles, so together with St. Paul, St. Paul is also considered as, as an apostle, but uh, they are not part of the 12. Probably, they say, probably he was one of those, you know, in, in the gospel today, we have the sending of the 12, but there's also the narrative in the gospel where Christ sent 72 disciples. Remember that, that instance where they were said, sent uh, by pairs, two by two, uh, to proclaim. Probably Barnabas was part of that. Two things I would like to mention today as we celebrate the Feast of St. Barnabas. He wasn't one of the twelve, but he has done so much work just like the twelve, just like the apostles. The first reading today talks about how a large number of people were added to the group. The early followers of the Lord, as we all know, were simple, ordinary people. You know, they were not the rich and famous. They were not the most educated. They were not uh, the most socially and politically connected. They were simple, ordinary followers of the Lord. Most of them were fishermen. Some of them probably didn't even have work. And yet, look at the amount of work that they did. Look at the number of Christians we have today. More than 2 billion Christians. We started from the simple, ordinary people. So, what do we learn from the life of St. Barnabas? When we talk about proclaiming God, we don't have to be in the limelight. We don't have to be part of the inner circle of the who and who to be able to contribute something significant to a group. And St. Barnabas has proven that. Very quietly, he worked to evangelize, to evangelize, to bring more souls for God. He did not work to bring more gold and silver to the community. He did not work to gain more followers. He worked to gain more souls to God. So that's first. The second is his relationship with St. Paul. He was considered as the sponsor of St. Paul. We know the story of St. Paul. Uh, before he became Paul, he was Saul who persecuted Christians. He was there when he, many Christians were killed, persecuted in the name of faith. And Paul was one of the leaders who really persecuted Christians. And so at some point after the conversion of St. Paul, many followers of Christ, many Christians were kind of suspicious of Paul. When he finally became a follower, they said, no, 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 we know you. We know your story. You killed Christians. You're going to just one day pop up and say, hello, I'm one of you. But St. Barnabas testified on behalf of St. Paul. St. Barnabas was one of those who testified to prove that, yes, okay, this person has persecuted Christians, but things have changed. He has changed. He has become a follower of Christ. Again, so what do we take from this? To testify on behalf of the good deeds of others. It's sometimes easier to destroy the good name of others through lies. And, you know, they had all the reasons actually to dislike Paul. After all, he killed Christians. He could have actually exaggerated all his faults. And they could have created lies to destroy his name because he did kill Christians. But no, Barnabas testified on behalf of St. Paul, the good deeds and the good name of St. Paul. And I think that becomes also the challenge for us to testify on behalf of others, to keep bringing others to God. 
not fabricating lies, destroying the name and good name and reputation of others. So today, as we celebrate the feast of Saint Barnabas, um, again, I would like to go back to those two uh, important points in the life of Saint Barnabas: to be an evangelizer. To be an evangelizer, we don't have to be the best. We don't have to be the most famous. We can be evangelizers even if we have very limited resources, just like Barnabas. And we can do great things in spite of our limitations. Second, to testify on behalf of others. We keep bringing people to God. We keep testifying on the good name and good reputation of others. To avoid fabricating lies in order to destroy the good names of others. In the Christian community, our role is to encourage each other, to build each other, to become witnesses of the good deeds and the good name. Let us now turn to the Lord with our prayers for ourselves and for the world. We pray for church leaders. May the Holy Spirit continue to inspire them in preaching the gospel faithfully in word and in action. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for judges, juries, and law enforcement officers. May they be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who are persecuted for their faith in Christ. May God's Holy Spirit uphold and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all who have died, marked with the sign of faith. May they be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven and know God's eternal kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and today we pray in a very special way for Lena and Jenny and for Joe Koski for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for all of us gathered today, for ourselves, for those who asked our prayers, those whom we promise to pray for. As always, we keep praying for an end to the pandemic. We pray for peace in the world, for our families, safety and protection of our families and our loved ones. And for all the intentions that we hold dear in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God of mercy and your goodness, listen to the prayers we have placed before you and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed Blessed God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the divine work of human hands, it will be calm and spiritual journey. Blessed Blessed God. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours are made acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, that with Saint Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations, through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you.
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, and treating our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, was over it and protected always, so that they may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord heaven and earth, holy, Lord, Son of the highest, blessed is you, come, living Lord, Son of You are indeed holy, O Lord, the foundable holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil that graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs in the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Lord, be with you. Amen. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a beautiful rest of your day.